This will probably be my last video on the subject of auditors and auditing. Probably. I'll tell you about the sneaky tactics he uses across many social media platforms to ensure that there are no negative comments about him. I'll show you how this is massively backfiring on him and how his reign of terror <laughs> and the days of all auditors are inevitably coming to an end. But before I do that, let me explain why this is going to be my last video on the subject. For the past couple of weeks, I've taken a dive into the dirty world of the Frauditor and I have to say it's an unpleasant swampland full of the lowest calibre of people I've ever come across. The Frauditors themselves are the types of people that no decent person living a normal decent life would care to associate with. It's just a known very nice part of the online social universe and I just don't want to be in there anymore. Having to watch their low life antics has made me sick to my stomach and frankly bored to tears all at the same time. <laughs> so this will be my final auditor type video. But I'm sorry if some of you are disappointed in that but life's too short for me and I'm too old to waste any more time interacting with that universe. <laughs> as you probably know I created a video where Nigel's frauditing behaviour as a subject the video gained no more than the usual amount of interest that my videos usually generate, but it did entice the ego-driven Nigel himself to post a few comments on the video. Well, I don't think Nigel was expecting the, the massive response to his comments, with 99% of the comments being extremely negative towards his frauditing shenanigans. <laughs> Nigel threw a major hissy fit. <laughs> didn't you Nigel? How dare he say that to me? Because he was completely powerless to remove the comments and he's notorious for doing this whenever anyone posts a comment that he doesn't like on his own channels on YouTube and on TikTok. I'm warning you, I'm warning you. <laughs> Shut up dicks. When Nigel realised that there was nothing he could do to remove the comments, he did what he is notorious for doing and he contacted YouTube with a video takedown request. Didn't you, Nigel? You do not deserve any of my respect, so you're not getting it. I'm warning you! I'm no bothered about your warnings, Nigel. And Nigel had a couple of options. First, he could have filed a copyright claim with YouTube, claiming that I had used his copyrighted material in my video. This is what most people do if they want to get ad revenue from a video with their copyrighted material in it. But Nigel didn't do that. Didn't you know it, Nigel? I'm warning you! Don't you talk to me like that! I'm warning you! <laughs> I, no one is worried about your warnings. <laughs> no, you didn't do that. You decided to file a video removal request because that was the only way that you could ensure that all of the negative comments and the questions for you that my viewers have all disappeared along with the video. Isn't that the truth, Nigel? Come back here, you! <laughs> Get it! Oh, I'm not going anywhere, son. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Now, many of you are probably thinking to yourselves, or you might even be shouting at the screen, Appeal it, Windswept! Appeal it! This is fair use all day long! Aye, you're right, this is fair use all day long. Nigel knows that too, don't you, Nigel? Get back to work! <laughs> but Nigel, despite being a decidedly unpleasant fellow, is not stupid. Nigel knew that if he had filed a copyright claim, I would have appealed and his claim would have been thrown out. Even if he did win the claim, I would simply have demonetised the video and all of his comments would still be there, with more and more being added every day. And Nigel just couldn't live with that, <laughs> could you Nigel? Who's me? <laughs> so Nigel went for the option of going for a video removal request. Why? Well. The procedure for a video takedown is very different to the procedure for a copyright claim. In a video removal request, the claimant has to claim that there is a copyright infringement and it also has to provide a lot of other information. You can check out the full procedure yourselves to see what it entails. When a removal request is applied for rather than a copyright claim, Using the online application form, YouTube must remove the video and issue a strike against the channel 
of the person who gets a strike, i.e. me. And I would also have to attend an online session of YouTube's copyright school. <laughs> Only after all of this is done can a removal request be appealed. So you might be thinking, well, why not take the strike, complete the copyright school and then appeal it? You'll win hands down on fair use and your video will be reinstated. Aye, that's true. But remember I told you that Nigel may be an annoying POS. But me? it's no stupid. Nigel knows there can only be one removal request active at a time. Now, had I taken the strike, Nigel would have quickly moved with his puppy dog pal PJ Audits. And PJ Audits, Peter Allsop, would have put another removal request for the video I did about him. Now, that would have given me two strikes on my channel. Strikes last for 90 days and 3 months is plenty of time for Nigel to pour over my videos and come up with another contender for removal giving me a third strike. 3 strikes and you're out. You are out of here! Your channel is gone forever. Now Nigel's not stupid, but neither am I. <laughs> not that stupid anyway. By removing the video myself within 7 days of the removal request, I avoided a strike. Well, Nigel beat you, I hear you say. You think you won, Nigel, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, not so. Nigel wasn't really bothered by the content of the video, were you, Nigel? I'm warning you, I'm warning you. <laughs> I'm no care. <laughs> Nigel only really cared about the negative comments and thought he'd get them all removed by removing my video. Well, Nigel, I'm sorry to tell you. You do not deserve any of my respect, I, so you're know, not getting I it. But I don't really care. Here are the comments for all to see. You've removed your own, Nigel, but the replies are right here. After the comments are finished playing here, I'll show you a screenshot of Nigel's financial assets. I was shocked to see his net worth, so stick around for that.
Now pay attention DJ Audits fanboys. So I think you should ask him to help you out and help your friends out who have been unfairly imprisoned and your friends and yourselves who are going through some difficult times at the moment. I think Nigel would be only happy to help you out. What do you say, Nigel? Oi, mate! How dare he say that to me? <laughs> what I wonder is, if you've got that much money in your bank, why are you out for auditing? There must be another reason. I think that needs further investigation.